The Pompano track record is 157 and 1. The world record is the same. It was set by Peace Corps in the Breeders' Crown November 11th, 1988. So we're set to go. $300,000 on the line in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown, the two year old Philly Trotters. Let's go upstairs to Ken Warkenton who will call all the action. $300,000 on the line for the Cadillac Breeders' Crown, two year old Philly Trot for 1993. And they're up and trotting. Off strut at the start goes Prolific Lady. Prolific Lady made a costly break and she's far back and Gleam, as expected, is out quickly going for the lead for Jimmy Tactor. Giant Mermaid will settle in second. Nara is third. And Super Pert swings to the outside and goes up to challenge fourth. Campbell sits off the pace with Royal Band in the fifth spot as they head for the opening quarter mile. Then it's Bill Fay, two lengths back with Love the Wind. Prolific Lady jumped before the start and she's way out of it and going rough on the turn was Super Pert. Super Pert's now off stride and out of contention. The first quarter 29 and four fifths and the two length leader is Gleam. Gleam sets the pace here. She's going for six in a row. Won her crown elimination. Giant Mermaid on the inside sits the two hole trip for Jan Janssen. That's the long shot near at third, and Campbell swings to the outside with Royal Band. Campbell will look for an upset here with Royal Band. Now fourth, now third. She's gaining steadily on the outside. Then it's Love the Wind for Faye. She swings to the outside. Way back to Super Pert. And moving up on the inside, but far back out of it. Prolific Lady, the half, a slow 101 and three fifths down the back stretch. And Gleam took a bit of a breather there. Royal Band applying pressure for Campbell on the outside. It's Gleam and Royal Band on the outside. Those two are stride for stride, and they start to slug it out at three quarters. Right there is Giant Mermaid has set a good trip. Nara is fourth, Love the Wind is fifth. Then far back to Prolific Lady, and off stride went Royal Band. Royal Band had had enough, and now it's Gleam with a clear three, four length lead. 129 and four for three quarters. Gleam has it by three as they turn home in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown, and Jimmy Tector is on cruise control with this Cadillac of a filly. It's Gleam by four lengths. Giant Mermaid is full out with Nara closing on the outside and she might get second, but it's Gleam making it six in a row. Jimmy Tector's first Cadillac Breeders' Crown victory. Congratulations. It looked rather easy for Gleam, driven to victory by Jimmy Tactor, his first Breeders' Crown Championship. He was second in this race last year with a 46 to one shot, Andrea S. Hanover, but now with a four to five shot, he gets the job done. Well, Bruce, it was rather easy for Gleam and driver Jimmy Tactor because the battle that we expected to see between Prolific Lady and Gleam never materialized, not even for a single second, as Prolific Lady made a break just before the start, so she was out of it, and Gleam was, as Ken Workington said, on cruise control as they came to the wire. Gleam, the daughter of Speedy Crown, out of the Super Bowl mayor, Shimmy Hanover, owned by Malvern Burroughs, one of the top amateur drivers around, bred by Rose Guida and Walnut Hall Farms, and driven and trained by Jimmy Tactor. So it's Gleam that captures the two-year-old Philly Trot. We'll come back with the prices and the winner's circle in a moment. So number two, Gleam is your race winner. And she returned 360, 360, 280, price is okay. Number four, Nara finished second, $16.560. Number three, Giant Mermaid was third, $3.60. The exact to two and four, $77.60. Right now, Gary Seibel is standing by with the winning driver trainer, Jimmy Tactor. Jimmy, now that you've caught your breath, congratulations on a great Breeders' Crown win. The battle that we expected to see didn't materialize as Prolific Lady made a break right away. Did you see that right away? And when you did, what were you thinking at that point? Well, uh... You know, it was the best that could happen for my horse because I, you know, that other field is a very nice field there and I have a lot of respect for him. I felt very bad for them, you know, because, you know, that's tough luck for them to lose right in the start because it's nice for equal Ackerman, so I, I felt bad for them too. Were you planning to go for the lead right away anyhow? I think uh, even if uh, prolific, pro, prolific lady stay flat, I don't think she would uh, be able to keep me... Uh, outside my feel is very gate speed you know so she's very fast out now you got a real breather in that second quarter you got 
a little bit of rest for your filly, and then Royal Band and John Campbell started to come to you there, and you had to pick it up in the third quarter, that third quarter going in 28 and uh, 1. That was a pretty quick fraction there. Did you feel that you still had enough left when you came for home? As soon as I got to the front, I know the race was mine. That simple? Yes. Well, a great race, and congratulations to you, Jimmy Tactor, on your first Breeders' Crown win. Thank you very much, Gary. In the winner's circle, on behalf of Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, Wes Cawley, a member of the National Board of Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, and Norman Woolworth, who is a director of the Hamiltonian Society. Making the presentation to Malvern Burroughs, who is the owner and one of the top amateur drivers, as I mentioned. Interesting story on Burroughs. He drove this filly early in the year, but because he had little success, he turned over the reins to Jimmy Tactor. He said, Jimmy, as long as you can win, you can keep driving. He has. He's won six in a row, including the Cadillac Breeders' Crown.